Lush, and I'm here at the World Climate Summit, Executive Editor of Hub Culture, and I'm really pleased now to be speaking to Johannes Bogren. Thanks so much for coming along. Thanks for being here. So you work with textiles and forests, so tell me what you do. Yeah, actually, I represent a company called Sadra. We're owned by 52,000 forest owners in the southern part of Sweden. Mm -hmm. And what we do is really, we make a lot of different products out of the forest. One of those is textiles. Mm -hmm. And since a few years back, we have an innovation called Once More, which is all about recycling of textiles. That's something that's virtually not happening in the world today. Mm. You look at, right now we're at the Hilton Hotel, we have different kind of bins for recycling. You have paper, you have cans, things like that. Mm. But what do you do with your textiles when you mm. reach the end of the life? So we found a way to recycle those kind of textiles. We work a lot with, with the hospitality sector, hotels, hospitals, things like that, to really make the new textile fibers out of the textile waste. Tell me, first of all, uh, or let's back up, what's the scale of the problem? Why can't you recycle textiles? Well, first of all, it's a complexity problem. If you look at the, your own clothes, you have different mm -hmm. kind of, right. of, of materials, of materials blends, fibers, etc. Yeah. You have zippers, you have buttons, you have all those right. things. So it's a complex thing. Right now in the world, 1% or less than 1% of the textiles is actually recycled back into a new garment again. Hmm. So that's really what we're trying to address with our innovation. Extraordinary. Okay, so tell me how it works. Well, uh, that's partly a secret, but, okay. but, 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 but mostly it works like this, that we collect uh, different kind of textile waste, mm -hmm. we, we break it down, we are mixing then the cellulosic part of the textile mm -hmm. with the cellulose from that we have from the forest. So okay. that's the connection to the forest industry work that we have. So we make a mixed product and then our customers can just use it as the normal product mm -hmm. and we have recycling in the supply chain. Amazing. So are there restrictions on what you can make or from a recycled textile can you make any other new recycled product? Right now there are many restrictions, unfortunately, mm -hmm. because we are really on a journey here. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're talking about specifically, we make a viscous or layer of cell fibers out of it. Mm -hmm. That's what our customers see. But it can turn into any garment, that, that's, that's mm. for sure. Today we are restricted in what kind of waste we're able to, to handle. So it needs to be cellulosic based. That means cotton, mm -hmm. viscous or layer cell. So we need other partners that can help us to solve wool, for instance, uh, nylon, elastan, there are a lot of different textile like fibers. So. All right, so you're at the beginning of your journey. Definitely. All right, Johannes, I'm going to come and check in with you in a couple years and Do see that. where give you a, are. Give us three, four years. All we'll right, we'll be back with you. Johannes, thank you so much for joining me here at the World Climate Summit, and I'm Edie Lush for Hub Culture. Thank you.